Today, we're challenged by the words that we read in 1 John 3, 18 that say, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Hmm. Love, that's a word that gets tossed around frequently in our world today, doesn't it? We, we love pizza, we love an outfit, we love a social media trend, we use the word love to describe how we feel about a new music album or movie or sports team, and we use the same word to describe our affection towards our spouse, our children, our parents. Love in our world today can mean everything from warm and fuzzy feelings to a strong liking or attraction to, to deep devotion. But according to scripture, love is not so loose in its definition. In fact, 1 John 3, 18 reminds us that love is not as complicated as we make it out to be. Love is revealed not by what we say or what we feel, but by what we do, by our actions. It's not what we intend or what we say that gives love meaning, but what we do, which means our spouses need more than just our I love you's. They also need our selfless acts of service. Our kids need more than just assumptions about our love. They need our quality time and encouragement. Our neighbors need more than our God bless you's in passing. They also need a helping hand. Our brothers and sisters who are struggling to make ends meet, they need more than our comforting sentiments. They need our generosity. Love is proven by our actions. And isn't that exactly the way that God loves us? He doesn't love us with just mere words and promises, but sacrifice and provision. In fact, Jesus dying on the cross is the ultimate act of sacrifice that reminds us of how truly and deeply loved we are by God. So, so I wonder, I wonder if you could consider today and this week how you can make your actions speak even louder than your words. Who can you serve, help, or give to? How can Christ's love in you be truly felt by someone else?